everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Madonna and in today's video I'm going to be filming a what is on my iPad. So this is my iPad right here. This is the iPad Air 3, I believe. It's the one with the um, home button. I don't really have like a high-end iPad. This iPad I think cost about, I want to say like $300, like $50 for this. And then the pencil was like a hundred. So altogether, this cost came out to around like $450 to $500, which is honestly not that bad. And since I've had this iPad for a while, I have used a bunch of apps that I really like and I wanted to share with you guys. So yeah, that's why I wanted to film this video. And I also feel like what's on my iPad slash iPhone slash, you know, MacBook, those videos are kind of like timeless. And I feel like everyone still enjoys those videos. But before we get into this video, I would really appreciate if you guys stop exactly what you're doing right now and scroll down to the bottom of this video and hit the big red subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that thumbs up button and thumbs up this video if you liked it. And of course, comment down below any other video ideas you guys have for me. But I don't really want to make this intro super long, so let's just go ahead and get right on into the video. So when you open my iPad, this is what you see. This is my wallpaper and it's pretty basic. It's just like a mountain view and I will try and link it down below if I find it. And then yeah, you click the home button and this is what you see. So I'm just gonna go through the apps one by one and sort of talk about them with you guys and kind of just explain what I use them for. So to the left of my screen here, you see all my widgets. I have the time widget right here where it says like the date and like the time. I don't really use like this clock thing. I just keep it here just because I like the way it looks. But next up, I have this little picture of the beach in Hawaii, which I'm literally obsessed with that picture, so that's why I keep it there. And it also kind of goes along with the aesthetic in a way. And then this widget right here is the sunset plus the sunrise. So whatever time it sets, it'll let me know right here. And then if you scroll up, you'll just see my Google Calendar right here. So I kind of just keep it hidden just because it kind of, you know, ruins the aesthetic of my iPad. So I just get rid of it, but if I want it there, you know, I'll just swipe up. So next up, I have my calendar. I'm not gonna go through these apps thoroughly that much just because you guys know what they are. But basically the first one is calendar, podcast, FaceTime, clock, photos, camera, whoops. And then notes, find my iPhone, app store, news, settings. And then in this folder are just like the generic like iPad apps that like everyone doesn't use, but you know, you just keep a folder for it. And then I have messages. I don't really send messages on my iPad that much because I have a phone and if needs be, I can send it on, I can send it on my laptop. So yeah. And then I also have my Gmail right here. I'm not going to click on it just because it's a bunch of like mail, but you guys know what mail is. And then in this folder right here is my productivity folder. So I have my Google Docs. This I used to use for school when I went. I don't really um, use it that much now. And then in here is Good Notes. This is basically where I write my notes and my filming ideas. I just have a bunch of like random documents and notes in here. And I usually use this with my Apple Pencil right at the bottom. And it's just a really efficient way that I use to take notes. I'm not going to go in depth with this too much just because a lot of people already know what Good Notes is and it's not that entertaining. Next up, I have Zoom, which we used to use a lot when, you know, quarantine and we weren't at school, but I don't really use that as much now. I have Mathway, which I use this for like math problems if I like don't know how to solve it. You have to use the paid version if you want to see all of the steps for math problems, but whatever. And the magic eraser, which is basically what I use, if it will let me skip. Um, basically, I use this to cut out any picture that I need for my thumbnails or whatever. And this is usually when this app comes in handy. So magic eraser comes in handy. Say, for example, if I want to basically get rid of all of this background and just leave this picture of me, I can use my Apple Pencil and I can kind of trace around my body and then it'll get rid of the background so I can insert this into like um, PNGs and stuff like that. Next up, I have Flipgrid. For online school, I use this a lot. I don't really use it as much now, but I like to keep it there just in case. And then this one, I recently just got this app and I am obsessed with it. This is Notion. I feel like a lot of you guys have already heard about Notion. It's basically an app for everything. Like if you're a student, if, you're, if you go to work, I feel like anyone can gain some benefits out of this app because you just can use it for everything. Right now, what I'm currently using it for, I'm using it to track the books that I'm reading, some habits, 
I wrote a couple goals down some notes for school which I'm not going to go through and then a budget I haven't gotten into this this is like this is the budget that comes with the template but I'm gonna you know start budgeting this month but basically I'm using these three as of right now to write down the books I'm reading habits and goals so right now I wrote down the book that I'm reading which is The Shadows by Alex North and I can click the status which you know either if I'm ready to start it, reading, finished, listening, watching, or I haven't started it yet. And you can basically just document all of the books that you've been reading or that you have read just to keep a better track of it. Or you can also track your habits, which I am trying to do right now. I need to get better at this. I feel like a lot of people bullet journal for habit tracking, but I'm just going to keep it in this app. So today is Monday and I'm just going to document what I've done so far, which I have worked out today. I did get seven hours of sleep last night and I did read today. So that's what I've done so far and hopefully I can check off all of this by the time that the day is done. And also you can kind of just go to add a page at the bottom and then you can just scroll down and these are all the options and the templates that it comes with for any of your like personal or work needs. In my next folder, this is my watch folder where I have all of my apps that I use when I wanna watch something. So, um, I have YouTube, self-explanatory, I have Netflix. These are just a few things that I've watched on Netflix. I actually have almost finished Shameless for some reason. Um, I don't know why it says season one. I think I went back to watch a couple episodes, but I was watching Shameless. I'm actually on the last season right now. I cannot stand it so far, so that's why it's taking me forever to finish it. But supposedly it's supposed to be really good on like the last few episodes, but I don't know how true that is. And then my next app is Discovery Plus. I don't even think I, I'm signed in on this. Um, I don't know why it's loading, but I think I canceled my subscription because I stopped using it. But basically I use this for my real estate shows if I'm ever wanting to watch those. And then my favorite, Disney Plus. I literally love Disney Plus so much. These are a few things that... I was watching. I think my brothers may have like used my um, account to watch whatever they wanted. That's why I have all of these like weird movies on here. But I did start Cars 2 the other day and I also finished the first Cars. So that's just kind of what I'm watching right now. After the watch folder, I have my shopping folder. I honestly don't really online shop on my iPad or at all really, just because I'd much rather go in person to shop. But I do have Urban Outfitters, which I have been using to look at like home decor and things like that. Since I'm gonna be moving soon, I'm looking at things for my new room. And I don't know what I have in my bag right now. Actually, all of this is out of stock, which I, you know, I, I saved these in my shopping bag a while ago. That's probably why they're out of stock. But yeah, I just like to kind of browse on here, look at cute like little decorations and pictures and rugs and bathroom things like that. So that's kind of what I use Urban Outfitters for. And then on my next page, I have Procreate. Procreate I use basically for, I'll show you guys over here in this stack. So these are all of my thumbnails. What I use this for is I can go in any of my thumbnails and I sort of just like, this is a really old video I filmed, but just for um, example purposes, I use my Apple Pencil and I kind of just trace around like the thing that I wanted to be like most like popped out. And that's how I get like the white border on, not border, but the white sort of outline on all of my videos. This is what I use that for. This is my recent video. Go ahead and watch that one. This is where I document my weight loss journey and my fitness journey. And I basically give you guys advice on how you guys can lose weight and gain muscle. Next up, I have Google Calendar, which I love. I just got this a couple days ago and I've already started using it. I have basically write down, I don't use this for all of my personal tasks, just my work tasks. So I write down like general tasks that I have to do. So today I have to work, I'm going to work today and I need to start filming. And I think that's all I wrote down for today, but I'm starting to get better at using this. I just like these ways that I can like keep myself organized without having to write down a bunch of things. Of course, I still have like a, a basic planner that I write things down in, which I prefer a lot more than being completely digital. But sometimes, you know, it's nice to write things down on your iPad. Next up, I have Pinterest, which I'm obsessed with. I love Pinterest. I've started getting back into this. 
I don't really use this for anything else, just kind of, I like to go through things, and if I want, like, to look at nail designs, eye makeup, these are all the things that I sort of tend to look at up here. I like to scroll through when I'm bored, maybe get, like, some inspiration, whatever. And then next up, I have Spotify. So for Spotify, this is sometimes the music. If I'm if I don't bring my laptop anywhere, I will use Spotify for my music. I'm more of an Apple Music type of person, I must admit, but sometimes Spotify is kind of nice just because I like all of the albums and like the mixes and like my recently played and things like that. That's when I'll come on this app. And sometimes I just like to switch it up a little bit. Next up, I have YouTube Studio where I basically just keep track of my videos and how they're doing and stuff like that. You guys know what YouTube Studio is. Even if you're not like an influencer, I'm sure you guys know. Next up, I have my Daily Horoscope. I love this app a lot. I recently got this like, well actually not recently, but like a couple months ago I got this from my iPad. And I basically just check my Daily Horoscope. I like to keep this on my phone but sometimes I'm using my iPad, so it's just more convenient for me to use my iPad for this. But this is my sign, I'm a Sagittarius, born on December 13th, and I just like to read this, and it's really nice to like kind of look at. And sometimes when I'm bored, I might look at like the compatibility, if I can see it, hold on. So there's a compatibility thing, which is right here, where I can check like whether my relationship with myself and I don't know, like my dad, so I can just read up on that and see like facts about our relationship. Not like crazy into astrology, but sometimes it's just kind of nice to look at because it can be kind of like true sometimes. So Zillow is what I use to look at apartments and like houses and things like that. I'm not planning on moving out that soon, but I am moving state in like a couple months. So I'm just going to be looking at apartments over here in Florida just to kind of test the waters a little bit and see what I like. And also when I'm bored, I like to look at other random like places and apartments and things like that, just because I get bored and I wanna see like what else there is. Up is the games file. And this is basically where I keep just my two games. I rarely play games on my iPad unless I'm like taking it somewhere where there's no internet, then I will play these two games. I basically have Crossy Road, which is a really, really old game. And I used to play this all the time when I was younger, but not so much anymore. But sometimes it is kind of fun to just like go back and like remember my past when I used to play this. But that's just that. And then Minecraft. I had this game a while ago, but I keep it on here. Just sometimes I get bored. Me and my brother might play it together if it's going to load. But I don't think it's going to load. But that's Minecraft. And then I also have Google Earth on here where I just look at all of the random places. I looked at like an old place I used to live the other day. But yeah, I kind of just stalk things on here, look at places and things like that.